Hello everyone, I'm Kat from the Littlestown Library of the Adams County Library System and welcome to today's Tiny Art for Adults and Teens. Uh, since June is Pride Month, uh, celebrating the LGBTQIA plus community, we are doing a rainbow willow tree. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, this is our pride edition of the tiny art set. So um, if you signed up for um, an art kit, then you will receive um, a blank 4x4 canvas, uh, a tiny easel, a paintbrush, uh, some paint pots with the following colors. Um, since this is a rainbow, there are going to be more colors than usual. So you'll be getting um, black, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and we'll also include white, although this will be optional um, for this piece. Um, there are some aspects of it that if you want to use um, white uh, to help lighten some colors and transition easier between the different colors, um, you can do that or you do not need to use um, the white at all. Um, also, uh, for this particular kit, you will also get three bundles of um, Q-tips that will be used to actually make um, the uh, leaves for um, the rainbow willow tree. So um, that is what you'll get if you have the art kit, uh, if you sign up for the art kit. I also recommend that you um, get a, uh, have paper towels or newspaper put down so that way you don't get paint everywhere. Um, it's good to also have another paper towel available um, to clean your brush in between colors um, or at least clean it off if you're uh, using the black. Um, I also recommend if you have, um, you'll need something to clean your brush with, so some kind of container to hold water. and. Um, this might be helpful if you need um, to scoop any paint out and you need to do any mixing. It's good to have some kind of plastic tray or a paper plate or something like that that you could um, mix the colors in. So if you want like a lighter shade of red or a lighter shade of blue to mix with white, um, then it's easier to do that outside the paint pots. So uh, without further ado, let's get painting. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to put down our tree. Now, since the canvas is already white, um, we don't need to add anything to it. If you want, you can paint a, um, a layer of white, uh, a thin layer of white paint across the whole canvas um, if you want something um, to kind of lay the other paints down on, but you do not have to do that. Um, if you decide to put down a white layer of paint, um, do that, you can do that, give it a about five, 10 minutes to dry and then move on to this part. So we're gonna take um, our paintbrush and our black and we are going to do a uh, base here, which is just gonna be um, just a little bit of black down at the bottom. Um, try to make it no thicker than the width of your brush because this is a very small canvas and we don't want um, to take up a whole lot of space um, with, uh, with, a, with a, uh, a base here. We want to um, focus on the tree as much as possible. So just, um, but we also need to ground the tree um, on something. So uh, you wanna go ahead and paint um, uh, kind of, I'm doing like a sort of a slice from one side to the other, um, kind of like it's on a hill, and just doing that there. Um, then I want to make the tree itself. Now you can make one that kind of goes up like this, 
um, and just have everything kind of like blowing in the breeze. That way you can have it so that the branches kind of dip down like that. Um, the one that I'm going to do um, is going to look a bit of both, I think. Let's see. <laughs> So we're going to, so I'll have the base of my tree, and again, probably no thicker than the um, width of your brush. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go like that. So that is the main part of the tree. This is the main trunk. You can make the base a little bit more, a little bit thicker so it's a little better rooted in the ground there. But willow trees tend to be very, well, willowy. They're very long, they're very slender, um, so you want to try now to use the just the, the uh, very edge of your brush so you can kind of do some other branches like that, some thin, just to give, we'll be adding a few more, but this is just to give you an idea of where the branches are, so that way you know where to put your leaves and how to put them, because um, that's just, it's just a little bit easier, and so that way um, you have a better idea of where everything is because um, otherwise you're just kind of blopping color on there and it can be um, it can be a little um, chaotic and you might end up with something that you have to scrap because um, you really don't like it so or you can just blot colors on there and and just you know make up something as you go along that is totally okay like you're under no obligation to do anything the way exactly way I'm doing it um, you can shape your tree however you want you can um, give it as many branches as you want um, you know this is your tree so you can do what you want so we're gonna go ahead and um, once you have like a couple branches on there then um, go ahead and clean off your brush because we won't be using that for a while and now you want the uh, black to dry completely um, so that way it doesn't get mixed in with your other colors. So we'll give that about um, five to ten minutes to dry and then we will come back to it. Once your tree has completely dried, then it's time to take the Q-tips. So um, I have these in bun these are in bundles of three. Um, if you want to do use just one at a time, you can do that as well if you feel that gives you more control. Um, but this gives you a nice um, having a bundle of them actually gives you a nicer um, uh, leaf kind of look to it rather than just doing one at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these and dip those in our red. Since this is a rainbow, we are going to start on uh, the left hand side and work our way over through the colors. So uh, first we're going to go ahead and just do some, do some red here, and just do some red splotches, and you just kind of... Again, nothing has to be symmetrical. You can just kind of, because again, this is a tree that's just sort of blowing in the wind and you can just go ahead and do what you, whatever kind of shape you want. Again, as long as we're still kind of going in this direction. So, and we will be adding some more, um, some more branches and such along with it as we go. So, and we can always add more um, more leaves uh, later if we feel that we need uh, more in like a particular section or whatever. So I think that looks good. So I've got red on this side. Um, so then I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna put orange on the other side. So I'm 
dip that in the orange. So I've got some orange there, and I'm gonna leave a little bit of space so that way there's some more pure orange um, right there. And, um, and then we'll go ahead and um, get a little bit closer and have some, uh, some intermixing between the two. So again, it's literally just dabbing, just little dabs. Um, again, wherever, wherever you feel it is appropriate, um, wherever you think that that makes sense. And um, we can kind of go into the red a little bit because we want this to kind of merge from one color to the next. And I'm gonna turn my red around and just do a few dabs in there and then over a little bit of orange. So you see how those two are kind of merging together. They don't feel separate from one another. They're, they're melding from one color to the next and that's kind of the feel that we're going for. So I've got some more orange right there. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go ahead into and get some yellow. So I'm gonna put these um, down. I usually put them down on the um, just on my paper towel, you know, so that way they're, they're there if I need them, but they're kind of out of the way. So I'll go ahead and grab another one, and now we'll get some yellow. So I've got some yellow, and again, I'll start off a little bit away from the orange, so it's not completely, um, you know, they're not merged immediately. It's more of just, okay, here's Here's a separate um, color, and then I'll merge them a little bit better. Now, some of these parts you'll see where they're covering the um, the black. We can go over that later with more black, or we can also go over with more color to make it merge better. So, whichever. But again, right now, we're just kind of uh, lopping the two together. Get a little more yellow, and just boop -a doo Yep, just kind of getting that, and those two are then merging together. So we've got some yellow and some orange got going on there. There we go. That looks good. So then I'm going to go ahead and get some green. And we'll do the same thing kind of over here. And you can, you know, as you see, this one's a little bit more wiggly. I can do that. You know, you can have different different sections sticking out. You want your tree to look active, have some personality, um, you know, kind of do its own thing because that's, you know, that's what this is about here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. There we go. That's looking pretty nice, isn't it? So we got some green. So let's set that aside. And then we'll get some blue got some blue here Turn it over and get purple. And and I know from the uh, in the um, video, it probably looks a little like the purple and the blue don't seem to have quite as much. Um, uh, aren't really as distinguished from one another, but that's okay because um, it, it's just it's just the lighting from uh, my camera. So that's that's all that is. So we'll add some more there, and there we go. So then we're there we go. So then we've got some more blue. All right, and I'll go back and get more of my green and bring that more down here and some yellow so as you can see you can 
you can add more, you know, more colors, uh, make them fit in a little bit better. Whoops. And, um, you know, you can darken up places like here, the purple's a little bit light. So I'm just gonna add a few more down there. I really like purple. So that's why I kind of have a little bit more purple in my, uh, in mine, but you can, you can obviously do whatever you want with these. And I'm going to add some more, some more red over here because it's a little bit thin in spots. And if you have edges to your canvas, um, just make sure that you kind of make the leaves go off the edge a little bit. So that way, um, that way it all kind of, it all kind of connects there. It all, um, it all goes, you know, goes together. Um, with that, so there we go. So you can see there's, you know, there it was, there's, there's a tree who has some personality. It's got some cool stuff going on. And we're going to go ahead and um, let that dry completely. Then we're going to um, add uh, some branches in to make it um, make it look a little uh, a little more connected together. And um, and we'll also add like some grass and stuff down below. But we we'll want to make sure that this is um, completely uh, dry before that before we do that. So. Um, again, you can, you can add, you know, little bits here and there if you want to have like a couple, um, you know, some, some, uh, bits flying, you know, some different, um, uh, little, uh, leaves flying off here and there, you know, from the, from the rest of the tree, you can do that too. Um, you know, a couple little dabs, you know, here and there to show that it's, you know, that it's blowing in the wind there. So there we go. Alrighty, so I think, I think I'm happy with my tree. And we'll go ahead and let that dry. And we'll go ahead, and once that's dry, um, probably give it about um, 10 minutes or so just to make sure it's completely dry. And then we will go ahead and continue. Alrighty, once your uh, tree has dried, then we want to go ahead and get a little bit of black paint on the edge of your brush, and you'll want to keep it turned so you're just using that side so you can get um, nice, thin um, branches. So you see how you're just using the very edge to make these nice thin branches.
and you don't have to do it for every color just enough to give the to give the impression that um, that there's the, you know there's more than more than meets the eye to uh, steal a line from Transformers. definition there we go so you see how that worked out and um, if you see some areas that are a little bit thin still, um, like some of the purple down here or some of the red up here, then you can go back and grab your, um, your little uh, Q-tips again and just add a little bit more so it doesn't seem quite so, um, quite so thin in some areas. Sorry, my hand's in the way there. But, um, yeah, so you can, yeah, you can add, you can add on, you know, once you have your branches there, you can add on and make, you know, other areas a little bit more, uh, defined. And, um, there's a couple spots where it looks like the old branches that we had kind of still shown through a little bit, so you can always add... Um, a little bit along those just to kind of brighten it up and make sure that your colors are all all where you want them have a beautiful uh, rainbow willow tree, a pride tree there. And um, again, you can um, adjust that however you would like. You can add more colors um, if you wanted to. If you wanted to have even more variation between the colors, you could add a little bit of white to like lighten the red, lighten the orange, lighten yellow, lighten green, blue, purple to like have like more a little more transition between the colors um, but again on a small that's easier to do on a large canvas on a small canvas that's much more difficult to do so um, that's why we're sticking with a little bit um, stronger definitions between the colors which is totally fine so hopefully you enjoyed that and I uh, will hopefully we'll see you back for another tiny art <laughs>